Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Golden Goal Show, Season 2, Episode 23. We are here in this beautiful show after the beautiful day of FIFA releases. Uh, some agree, some disagree. I just don't understand what FIFA's on about. They still think Belgium's first place. Like, what? They, what do they want? They have one Lukaka. That's about Lukaka. Like, it's about it, really. But everybody, welcome to the show. And also, I am ad- introducing my co owner to the show. How are you doing, Abed? Good, good, good. And I have a surprise for everybody here today. Uh oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. Okay, that's nice. And also, introducing to the show another guest in the show. We haven't had it in a long time because, hey, he's been happy. He's been happy, I'd say, with his team. Hello, introduce yourself, sir. Yeah, hey, it's Peter. Um, yeah, up and down, but team's doing all right. He does like Arsenal. And hey, fair enough. They are in good spot right now. Better than they were at the beginning of the year. Let us. Wow. Yeah, that's a definitely a big statement sure. right there. Yeah. And also, I want to hear from another guest on the show. We haven't heard him forever. The transfer agent God himself. Let us hear Agent Dimitri. Let us hear him. Well, I know I've been busy, yeah. but... Well, you, you were able to see me on the big screen and, you know, Spider-Way and uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. I was playing there. Toby Maguire, yes. Lovely That's stuff. It. So it was a big reveal that I would show up in the movie and, you know, everyone everyone were crying in, in the audience whenever I show up on the screen. So Yes, everybody cries when they see you, Dimitri. I, I would too. I mean, you're beautiful. Lovely stuff. <laughs> okay, well, everybody, that is the guest of the show. And let us go into first... One of the greatest leagues in the world, the Farmers League, I mean the Premier League. Let us see. First place right now, Manchester City at the Empty Hat Arena. Second place, wow. Liverpool. Huh? And I'm just being surprised that Manchester City is the top of the league. Oh, yeah. Such a surprise, like Bayern Munich. And second place, Liverpool. Third place, Chelsea FC. Fourth place, West Ham United. Fifth place, Arsenal. And 20th place, Burnley. All right, match day 22 out of 38. Let us get into it. Brighton, Crystal Palace, first game, one to one. Tight game. Manchester City, Chelsea, one to nil. Game could have got both ways, but Kevin, the GOAT, is the match winner. Norwich City, Everton, two to one for Norwich City. Wolves, Southampton, three to one for Wolves. Newcastle, Watford, one to one. Tight game as well. Austin Villa, Manchester United. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. tight game as well. Two to two. It was a great game. West Ham and Leeds United, two to three for Leeds United, getting the goal in the end. Liverpool, Brentford, three to nil for Liverpool. All right. Um, firstly, let us go into Manchester, Chelsea. Tight game. A lot of, I would say it would equivalent to Champions League final a little bit, a little bit with the defensive work Chelsea was doing and also it. But let's just say, eh, it was, uh, any of you want to comment on this game if you watch any of this game? I mean, yeah, La Caca. La Caca. Yeah, he could have scored a goal. He could have scored two goals, but La Caca. Lukaku, La Caca. Yeah. La Caca. Caca? Yeah. Caca. Yep. Caca. 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 No, that was La Caca. He retired. Oh, he retired. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, let us get into the second game. Awesome via Manchester United. Abed, please give me your comments after Coutinho, who just joined Awesome via. Felipe Coutinho, man. Felipe mm-hmm. Coutinho finally back to being alive from the death. Yeah. Uh, finally out of Barcelona. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, yeah. I'm happy to see the guy destroying Man United as usual. I mean, no surprises as a Liverpool legend. Mm-hmm. There are surprises, you know, yeah. with that guy. It took him only, what, 15, 14 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, Job done. Won't be surprised if he never shows up again in any of the games that he's going to be in loan at. That's but very true. That is I very like true. Cristiano not playing, Bruno Fernandes stepping up, but then Fred and the midfield <laughs> throwing us over again. And you bring Van de Beek in the 88 minute. What do you expect him to do? Be Messi or something? Yeah, Messi. <laughs> I mean, man, like at this point, no, it's just screw Man United at this point. Ah, yikes. All right. Dang, that's a... It's... Ooh. It, and the whole club is in shambles right now. I mean... Okay, calm no down. No players want to play. You know, they don't... The coach, I don't know what he's going to be doing. It's only a six-month contract with him as the coach. Okay. I, seven place. Seven place. What can I say? All right. Lovely stuff. We are yeah. behind 
Tottenham and Arsenal. Like, we're behind Tottenham and Arsenal. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. Like, even Cristiano was angry. He was like, at least top three, guys. Top three only for Man United. There's so much, so much you can do. There's only so much you can do, Lamed. I mean, yikes. All right, Peter, let me get your... I don't know if you've been watching Arsenal games now, but let me get your uh, your opinion on how Arsenal's doing. How how they doing, mate? How they doing? How they've been doing? I mean, well, run a form. I mean, we had went on a really big unbeaten streak in November into a little bit of December. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I've been I've been pleased. We seem to do this thing every season where we do a roller coaster where we start bad, middle of the season we do really well, and then end of the season to kind of tank back down to what we were at the beginning of the season. But I mean, and to end the year off, I think in the calendar year, so it includes last season's uh, uh, league, but um, I think we were one behind Liverpool with the most points within the calendar year. Yeah. So that was, that was, that was nice to see. I didn't realize that. So it does show the improvement, you know, trust the process. Yeah. Um, our young players are really coming through and I'm glad we're starting to rely on them more because I think they've, deserve the chance yeah. but yeah i mean did i think we could be top five top four potentially we have the two plus games but um no nah, it's a lot better this season than i thought we would yeah well <clears throat> fair enough i mean i can't wait to watch the the what's it called the amazon prime series with the uh, all or nothing so it'll be a great great series so I can't wait to watch it. all right let us go on to la liga and it is first place real madrid Second place, Sevilla. Uh, no games, no games were played this far. They played the Super Cup know, this week. I know, I know. And then third place, Real Betis. Fourth place, Atlético Madrid. And fifth place, Real Sociedad. And twentieth place, Levante. All right, moving on because there was no games this weekend. Yeah, super just cool congrats. To, they won the Super Cup. They beat Atlético. They beat Barça. Blah blah blah. We Real Madrid about. is the best league in the world. I don't yeah. know what. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, Bundesliga. Los Gates, first place, Bayern München, second place, Dortmund, third place, Leverkusen, fourth place, Hoffenheim, and fifth place, Union Berlin, and 18th place, Fürth. Thank you, Dimitri. Okay, match day 19th, let us go. Dortmund, Freiburg, 5-1, to one, battering with Holland scoring twice as well. And yeah, yeah, it was a great game for them. Korn and Bayern. Nil to four for Bayern, absolutely killing Kohn. No expectations from them. Union Berlin in Hoffenheim, two to one for Union Berlin. Wolfsburg and Hertha, nil to nil. Mainz in Bochum, one to nil. Stuttgart and Leipzig, nil to two for Leipzig. München Gladbach in Leverkusen, one to two for Leverkusen. Augsburg and Eintracht Frankfurt, one to one, saddening game for Eintracht Frankfurt when they could have came up with a big point. Armenia in fifth, 2-2, two to two, a tie there as well. Uh, I mean, Haaland's doing great again. That's all I can say about this. And Lewandowski is Lewandowski. Is there any surprises? I don't think so. They're in the board according to FIFA. Uh, we'll get into that in a bit. We'll get into that a bit. But hey, that was the Bundesliga for this weekend. All right, Syria, let us go into this league. First place, yeah. Inter Milano. Second place, Eze Milano. Third place, Napoli. Fourth place, Atalanta. Fifth place, Juventus. And sixth place, Florentina. And 20th place, Salentana. All right, match day 22. Let us get into it. San Pedroia and Torino. One to two for Torino. Salentana and Lazio. Nil to three for Lazio. Getting a great, great three points in. Juventus and Udinese. Two to nil for Ju- Juventus. Great performance for Juventus as well, keeping up the form. Sassuolo and Verona, 2 to 4 for Verona. Venezia and Empoli, 1 to 1. Roma and Calegri, 1 to 0, getting the goal in the end for Roma. Atalanta and Inter, 0 to 0. Oof, it was a very tight game, but no goals there. Etze Milano, Spezia, very disappointing for Etze Milano. I don't know. The game was rigged. The Italian referees are rigging Milan. All right. Again. Well, Game is just rigged. The total meaning of this game, the ref has been paid for this game. Yikes. What a special yep. one. <laughs> well, I mean, in the 91 minute, Milan scores a goal, like a clear goal. No shambles about that goal. But the ref says, oh, there was a foul for Milan a second before, and instead of giving them, you know, the chance to shoot, to shoot that shot. 
Okay, wow. One second away. Any other referee in the world would have given the clear light to just keep going with that game and see what's going to happen to the shot, then call back for a foul. Except okay. that ref. And then a minute later, me, uh, Spieds scores the second goal against Milan. Ah, yikes. I'm sorry to hear I, about that. that again, a- and the referees screwing Milan over. And that was a big three points that I said yeah, needed like, to get. Yeah, you know, we would have been in the top of the league right now if they won that game. Oof. Uh, aye, aye. All right. And now, Bologna Napoli nil to two for Napoli. Florentina and Genoa six to nil. Oh my gosh. Like Man United is not as good as it was. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Dimitri. I, I love that. Thank you. All yeah, right. if you're. Yeah, man, just watch out from them, Vlavic. And Vlavic, they also, yeah. yeah, he's he's linked to a lot of clubs. Yep. and Biantic. <laughs> Biantic is the new. Yeah, I know Arsenal. I know Peter. Back. I know Peter. Biantic is back. Uh, Peter, keep dreaming, but you're not gonna sign him. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I would expect a player like him to join a bigger club at this moment. So, with we'll all doors, we'll see. I'm I'm talking about clubs like Man City. You know, Manchester something. United. No, not Man United. <laughs> okay. Let's be let's be on let's be honest here. <laughs> City, uh, PSG, you yeah. know clubs right. like that. All right. Well, let's go on to League One. That is Uber Eats League, which is not the Farmers League right now, actually, compared to Man City. Lovely. All right. PSG is in first place. Whoa. Th- huh? Yeah. Second no, place. Go ahead. <laughs> nice. Third place. Marseille. Fourth place, Rennes, and fifth place, Monaco, and last place, 20th place, Saint Antion. All right, match day 21st, Nice and Nantes, two to one for Nice, Saint Antion and Lyon, one to two for Lyon, PSG and Brest, two to nil for PSG, Rene Bordeaux, six to nil for Lyon. Oh my gosh, absolute battering. Loyen and Angers, nil to nil with a red card for Angers, very naughty. Rhymes and Mets, nil to one for Mets. Monaco and Clermont Foot, four to nil for Monaco. Strasbourg Montpellier, poor performance for Montpellier with a red card, three to one for Strasbourg. Toyas and Lyon, nil to one for Lyon. And Marseille and Lille, one to one. Lille with a red card, very naughty. Gosh. Um, anything about this league? Dimitri, any facts about Ligue 1? Come on, I know you got one. Ligue 1, the French league. Uh, the French league? Yes. Oh yeah, they um the mm-hmm. PSG is making a transfer. Oh, they're signing Messi. Messi. Oh, yeah. yeah. Again, they're signing Messi. Is it his son or is it his daughter or what? No, it's his twin brother. They're gonna oh. be two of them. Okay, they're signing Pessi. Nice. Love, love the deal. Yeah. Okay, great. All right. Well, that was. <laughs> the leagues, the top five leagues. And guys, let us go into something really fast. What do we think about this? The FIFA Bull- Pro was announced. What did you say, Alvin? Bullshit. Okay, lovely stuff. All right, so the F- did you see this, Peter, as well? The FIFA Pro was announced. Uh, what is FIFA Pro? Just the best football <laughs> players. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, Nobody so- cares. Exactly. All right, so in goalkeeper, it was Gio... Gio- uh, mm. John Gianlu- Lee. John Lee. Yeah. John Lee. <laughs> Gianluigi, Dunaruma for goalkeeper, ah, Alaba, Bonucci, and Ruben Diaz in the three in the back. Kevin De Bruyne, Jorginho Kante in the middle. And the four up top, Lewandowski, Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Erling Haaland. Ooh. I mean, comments? Peter, I'll let you, I'll let you say something first. Like, do you think this was all deserved, or do you think there should be just some switches? Um... Well, it's probably only like the only person I don't recognize is Diaz, especially because I don't watch a lot. But yeah, I mean, Messi being there, maybe that's a little overkill. But yeah, for him this season, given the start. But I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised two Chelsea players are in there, but and no Man City players. But there is a Man City player. Oh, duh, yeah, I one. Yeah, well, there's two city, there's two city or one city, two Chelsea. Yeah. And uh, no Liverpool, so I'm surprised about that. Yeah, but... I would have said Salah for Messi. No offense, um, Abed, but yeah. Uh, yeah. It all dep- I mean, it all depends. I mean, whenever you talk about such thing, Messi is the best player in the world this season. 
He won the award. Yeah. He won the Ballon d'Or. He was supposed to win the FIFA Best Player too. So you're gonna have him in the list. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The formation is wrong, but if you want to keep yeah, the this formation, formation trash, I don't know what the like, heck this is. I've never seen. I've never ever seen in my life a formation that's three three four. Never. Yeah. And let's say you want to keep that formation, I would easily, easily take him, uh, Haaland and Cristiano Ronaldo off that list. Both mm-hmm. don't deserve to be in that list. I agree. I agree. Like if you want to keep, it, I mean, you nominate the top three in the world: Messi, Lewandowski, Salah, and you don't even have Salah in the top in the top eleven for the yeah. formation. Like, are you serious? Or even Mendy, best goalkeeper yeah, in the world? Yeah, Mendy should have been. I don't know what happened. Ugh. What does David Alaba? have to do in the FIFA best 11. <laughs> Where is Rodiger? Where is Marquinhos? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's FIFA only man. Thing that I can't you know say anything about is the midfield. I mean, Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah, come on, Kevin. I mean, he's good but even Kevin De Bruyne, I mean, let's say he didn't have the best start of the season this year or even the last the last year he was mostly injured, but I mean, he won- he ended up winning the league with Man City and even reaching the final of the Champions League. So you gotta have someone yeah. from the league of Man City and Ruben Diaz too. But yeah. I mean, Bonucci won the Euros. I understand it. Yeah. But David Alaba, mm. Cristiano Ronaldo, Erling Haaland. What are yeah. these people doing in this list? Like not they're, even Bambi, but just, they just want a good uh, what's it called? Uh, ultimate team advertisements. card. <laughs> no, just one good advertisements and also, you know, for the marketing. I mean, that's the only reason why I see Cristiano Ronaldo in the list or even the the trophy that they invented for Cristiano Ronaldo. Yep. The yeah. best national goal scorer. <laughs> yeah. Lovely. What did he do? Break the records for something like that? Now we have yeah. a trophy for it? Yeah. No hey, expect next season the best 5-8 football player. <laughs> yeah they should do that yep <laughs> oh my gosh okay well that was the FIFA pros I don't yeah there's nothing really uh, just congrats to Lewandowski I mean yeah if it was any other one I would have disagreed but even Lewandowski deserves to you know be yeah. considered as the top player in the world yeah no it is how it is all right let us go into now a football memes of the week which is brought to you by Troll football and rival Banta. This is Emil Heskey, our lovely stuff. And let us see the first meme. All right, what are we saying about this? This is a picture of Real Madrid. Hazard is so hungry, he's looking at Nacho. <laughs> oh my. I mean, even the name in a way, you know. It's just Hazard looking at Nacho when they were, they were celebrating the Super Bowl. Cool. He's got such a straight face as well. I mean... He is joining it. He is at Madrid, not playing anything. So he did. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna leave soon. Hopefully, yeah. he's gonna revive his career. I mean, such a sad transfer. I hope the prince comes home. I really hope the prince comes home. I hope so too, man. Yeah, I miss Hazard, Chelsea. Me too. Me too. Me too. All right, second meme. Let us see it. What are we thinking about this, guys? The best FIFA men's goalkeeper, Edouard Mendy. Juno Maruma is the goalkeeper of FIFA Pro Eleven. What? <laughs> Say what? Typical, typical, typical FIFA. And they did that the last year too, by the way. That doesn't make any sense. What? <laughs> I'm so... They did that the last year. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, make up your decision, FIFA. You can't just t- do two. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, let us see the last meme of the week. What are we saying about this, guys? Two-point gap between top twos in Serie A. It's in Milano in Inter Milano. Five points in La Liga between um, Real Madrid and Valencia, I believe. Correct? Yep. Yes. All right. Six points in Bundesliga, which is uh, Bayern and Dortmund. And 11 points in the Premier League. Who is the Farmers League now? <laughs> yep. Marketing, marketing. It's all about marketing. Uh, they keep advertising the French League and the German League. But in the, in the reward is Man City with Pep yep. Guardiola. Uh, I mean, he's turning it into he's turning it into Bayern. I mean, I mean he's not turning it, it, man. He already turned. You know, Liverpool winning that league was by mistake. Yeah, and they're gonna regret that. The whole league is gonna regret that for years. Oh yeah. All right. Well, Don't forget, he still yeah. doesn't have a striker. Very true. Very true. All right. That was football memes of the week, guys. Thank you for watching that. And now on to the new extra time show format. Abid. 
go ahead, do your stuff. Let us see for our uh, guest. Introduce. So, ladies and gentlemen, for our first guest of hey, this hey, show. Hey, ladies, gentlemen, and messies. Are we talking about you and Missy Mount thing? Or, no? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a new show here. It's going to gonna be a brief uh, five to ten questions. Uh, mm-hmm. For each guest, starting with our first guest, going to be Peter. We're going to ask him about his club, a couple questions about it. Mm-hmm. And we hopefully going to have that as soon as we can, depending on our guests. Yeah. And let's get on. You ready, Peter? Can I answer questions? Yeah. Yep, you're going to answer my questions. Okay. You have only one question that you can pass out of the five. Yeah. <laughs> All good okay. with that? Yeah, all right. All right. All right. The first question. Why did you start loving Arsenal? What made you what was the moment that made you love Arsenal? Um, just because my dad did. It's just a family thing. And uh I guess there's there's just that loyalty there. And then they just have so have well, I started supporting them for real when they stopped doing well. <laughs> <laughs> so well, but it stuck with them, right? So but yeah, that's why, because my uh, my dad and his, his and his grandfather also supporting Arsenal. Nice. No, all right, all right. Nice, nice answer. The second one. What was the best moment that you lived as an Arsenal fan? Ooh. Best moment? Um, probably. Uh, what was it? It was the. I wish I could, it was the FA Cup where we were down two 0 against like Hull or something. Like obviously the team's not the team we're playing isn't some great team, but oh, that just FA Cup final two 0 down and then just coming yeah, back to win three two, especially with Sensi Cazola's amazing free kick that game. Mm-hmm. That was good. And I think Alexis Sanchez also scored the winner for you guys too. Yeah, it was it was yeah it was him Sensi Cazola and then Aaron Ramsey was the one who scored was- the third goal. That let was me, a good game. Let me just say, I'm happy Alexis Sanchez is doing well again at Inter. I am yep. happy. I'm, I'm happy. Uh, that guy can go wherever he wants. <laughs> Damn. No. He what wanted to win the... trophies. Yeah, he went to Man U and did anything. So. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was terrible. What was the saddest moment for you as an Arsenal fan? The what, sorry? The saddest moment for you as an Arsenal fan. The, the worst saddest moment? moment? The worst moment, the saddest Worst moment, moment. okay, okay. Yeah. Um... That Champions League final? Yeah, I wasn't really, I don't remember it because I didn't, I guess I think I was too young at the time. But um, probably when, honestly, last season was pretty bad. It was the season before that where we, we finished like, was it seventh? Like, uh, like in my, like, it didn't sound that bad, right? Because seventh isn't bad for most teams in the Premier League or any other yeah. team. Yeah. I but as, as an Arsenal fan, like when you know that your team is supposed to be up there, yeah, and then all of a sudden you're a mid table, you're finishing mid table or close to it, it's like it was definitely an, an eye opener. Like, but it, it's not that bad to be honest. Like, yeah, like they, they all kind of mesh together. But if I had to pick one moment in recent memory, it'd be that. Yikes. Uh, yeah. Who is the biggest legend in your club, in your opinion? The biggest what? Legend in your club. I mean, it's probably oh, if we're talking oh, players, fun. if we're, talking if, we're yeah. talking, if we're not, if we're not talking players, it has to be Arsene Wenger, right? But yeah, if we're talking player. players, I mean, it has to be the Thierry Henry or um, <laughs> Dennis Bergkamp. But <laughs> let's I say mean, between the you have witnessed playing. I'm oh, sorry. Let's say between the players that you have witnessed playing. You know, honestly, as, as probably Santi Cazola, honestly. Like, I, I think he, like, he didn't score a lot of goals, but he got plenty of assists, passed the ball really well. Um, I think if we're talking, like, legend, like, that isn't even playing now, um, and he has played for us and left, um, Santi Cazola is probably up there. Yeah, he's still performing good in Assad, just to let everybody knows about it. I yeah. still watch play and score goals. Nice. All right. Now for the last moment, if you weren't an Arsenal fan, Ooh. which club would you have chosen between the Premier League clubs? Can I answer support? this? Because I know mm-hmm. what he wants. I know what he wants. That little it's between two. It's between two. No, nope, only one. Oh, two. Okay, I'm interested. 
Yeah. I I I probably go West Ham. Okay. Huh? West Ham. Interesting. 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 Yeah. Another team in London. Wow. Yikes. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, teams you can't take London out of Peter. Yeah. Yep. Okay. West Ham or Chelsea. No, no. I'm gonna say Leeds because yeah. Well, Leeds is the other one. That was my other choice, yeah. but but I think I just I've liked what I liked West Ham before Leeds, so I, I kind of have to go with West Ham. Fair. Well, nice. We all remember the great Lanzini and Payet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, magic left. Foot. The Academy of Football. Yeah, it was beautiful. All right. Thank you all. Thank all you, right. Peter, for for the questions. Thank you. Yeah, that was that was Abid's segment. Oh, asking one last question. Sorry. Oh. Between all these clubs, what's the most club that you hate? Ooh. Wait, is it an all or just the Premier League? No, give me an all. Okay. And don't say Bayern. Besides Bayern. No, no, no. He can say that. No, I don't say like Bayern at all. Um, I mean, I guess I have to say. Oh. <laughs> I mean, easy answer is Tottenham, right? Yeah. Um, we but thought that. We thought that. If I if I, if I, if I, just, if I not pick the rival, like the main rival. Mm-hmm. I don't really have that much hate for any team outside of the outside of the Premier League, so I probably have to say Manchester United. Okay. Yeah. All right. As boring that as that may be, but yeah. Um, I guess Real Madrid would be the outside one. Yeah. I like that. Actually, actually, you know, yeah. low key, low key PSG though. Ah, cool. uh, yeah. You cool. know what? I agree with that with the money and everything. Yeah. yeah. Oh, who's saying the Chelsea fan? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay well that was the little interview well thank you Abed, for that that was a nice little segment we had right there all right yeah well thank you guys for watching the show peter thank you for joining the show mate no problem yes great to have you on again and Abed, thank you for being on as well as a co-owner and thank you for that little segment of course of course yeah and also dimitri i know you're busy right now trying to sign velocinich and hope terry mcguire and venom and the green goblin so thank you for joining on as well yes no problem i'm s- trying to sign bully mcguire as you bully said McGuire. Yes. i'm gonna put some dirt in your eye <laughs> yeah oh my god it's lovely you're gonna right. cry you're gonna cry <laughs> Oh my gosh. You want faith? Find religion. <laughs> okay, lovely stuff. Spider Man, go see it. It was a great, great movie. All right, thank you guys for watching. And like, subscribe, and share it. And also, if you want, watch it on Spotify because we are on Spotify at the Golden Goal Show. Lovely. Check it out. And as we say, end the show in three, two, one, one. One love football. Love football. football. One love football. Thank you guys and bye bye.